your blessings, our voice activated. Yeah. That's one of the types. Yeah. And the other one is.
and then to go to know in God's answer my prayer, I want this to be a loud thing. That's right. So they said, well, I her. And so, said, Rebecca, will you go with us, man? She said, I will. All right. <laughs> I'll go. She was happy to join. Well, they took her back and when Isaac was out meditating, the scripture says. It's kind of nice to meditate sometimes. Yes. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? But the wicked, even my enemies, come to eat up my foes, they'll stone and fall. Though an host should kill against me, my heart should not fear. The war tries against me. In this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after. That I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To inquire in his temple and to behold with you as the Lord he looked up. Whoa. The camels are coming.
the donkey stood right there, yes. stubborn as what we say they are. Yes. A mule. <laughs> Lord, can 
in Portland turn around? I said, oh, Lord, you know. They said, well, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Now, doesn't that sound weird? <laughs> prophesy to these bones. Yeah. Prophesy to Portland yeah. and say, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says to these folks. I will make breath into you and you'll come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound. And the bones came together, all the bones. I looked and tendons and flesh appeared on them and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. In other words, some folks came to Christ, but they really didn't get the Holy Ghost. They just came. Whoa. All right. Then he said to me, prophesy to, to the breath. See, we got to talk to the people after they come. They commit their lives to God. But it's God that puts the breath in. You can't give nobody the Holy Ghost. That's right. Somebody says, say, say, ta, ta, ta. No, don't say no ta, ta, ta. Uh, like you're not speaking in tongues. That's repeating. You wait until God gives you the language. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, have you ever heard nobody tell people to do that? They say, say, ta, ta, ta. And, yeah, say, ta, ta, ta. And that, that's going to that's gonna call you to speak in tongues. Well, maybe it will eventually. I don't know if you say, da, da, da. Maybe it might, but I don't know. <laughs> But the point is, God breathes breath in yeah. folks. Yeah. Once they give their heart to Christ, yeah. it's God that puts in them That's the right. spirit of another language. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, so you just keep prophesying to them. Amen. Say, well, I'm not a prophet. Well, if you have the spirit of the living Christ in you, you can yeah. prophesy to them. Son of man, this is what the Lord says. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe unto these slaves that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. We sing the song, there's an army rising up. That's right. All right, there is. But some of them are news. I hope you get it. Yes. Some of them are news. That's, that's not an indictment. No. That's just who we are. That's right. Most of us are news. Yes. Whoop. That's right. The watch came. Okay. <laughs> Most of us are news. Yes. That means we're hard-headed. Yes. We're stubborn. Yes. We're rebellious. Yes. And we don't we don't do what we hear we should do because we don't want to. There's no other reason. The devil didn't make you do it. That's right. You just, you just didn't want to do it. Yeah. So you say, I'm not doing that. Haven't you said that before? <laughs> <laughs> How many of you have said, I'm not doing that? Yeah. I know Pastor Grace said that, but I'm yeah. not doing that. Yeah. I know, I know Ella so and so said, well, I'm not doing it. Now they can do it, but I'm not doing that.
Yes, he is. And he will bring you out. That's right. Life 
Let me might have it more abundantly. You don't need to fight in this battle. It's not yours. It doesn't belong to you. Thank you. The battle doesn't belong to you. Can you get it? Yes. No, you haven't. No, Thank you. Because you keep on trying to fight it yourself. No. You lay it in the bed thinking, what can I do? No. Nothing. That's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Can't do nothing. You can't fight this battle. It doesn't belong to you. That's right. Which one of you are going over to Afghanistan and win the war? Anybody in the head? <laughs> the battle is not yours. That's right. It's in the hands of the soldiers. Yes. The military, who's going to fight? Does that make any sense? So the battle that you're fighting personally, in your mind, in your body, in your head, wherever the battle is, in your home, on your job,
That's the bad time to go to God. Tomorrow, Mark's down against them. They'll be climbing up by the pastor's says, and you will find them at the end of the gorge in the desert. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position. That's right. What's your position? On your knees. That's right. Amen. When's the last time? Don't raise your hand, please. When's the last time you got on your knees? Now, I'm not talking about you have knee operation, or you have operation, you can't get down there. But tell Arthur to get out of the way, or at least been down. <laughs> You've been over, can't you? Yeah. You, can't, you can't get on your knees. You've been over, can't you? Yeah. I'm going to have to sit up me. Come on, God, and do something for me. Because I'm who I am. You've got a vision of some kind of way. That's right. On your knees or something. Take up your position. Stand firm. And see the deliverance of Lord will keep you open yeah. and through them. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow, and the Lord will be with you. I'm not finished. 18 verse. Jehoshaphat bowed with his face to the ground. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Bow something. Yeah. You can't bow your knees. At least you bow your face. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And all the people of yeah. Jerusalem, Jerusalem and Judah fell down and worshiped before the Lord. Then some Levites from the Kohathites and the Kohathites and the Kohites stood up and praised the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. No, that's not in your Bible. I understand. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Give me the permission. No, no, no. He's not telling me to try to outshout the preacher. No. I can outshout somebody that's testifying. No. We want to hear what they have to say. Yes. Or I'll shout the prayer this person. We want to hear what the prayer is. So you can say amen to it. Thank you. Consent to it. Yeah. But if you all of us are corporately praising the Lord. Thank you. Is that only for Ellen Eubanks? No. Or Janet? No. Can I praise him with a loud voice too? Yes. Yeah. 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 You're not the only one supposed to be loud. Hallelujah. This is not for one person. This is everybody. As they went out. Early in the morning, yeah. they left for the desert to Tekoa. Yeah. They set out. Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Julian, people of Jerusalem, have faith in the Lord your God. Yeah. You will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets, yeah. and you'll be successful. Thank you. But you're not listening to it. You said you're not doing that. Repent. Repent. Say, Yeah, I'll do that and more. Yeah. I'll do that. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing. Now, I want to know who was in my Bible person thirsty? Nobody cares. Oh, it was canceled. Oh, they couldn't be there. When, when the last time you had drank? Thirsty for fire. Who was there? Shalise. Shalise and you. Okay. Okay, who was there left the, before that? Angel Crystal. Beverly. Okay, that's enough. Okay, Crystal. Come on up here. Right. 
than others. If not, well, you're going to read the first four verses. Praise the Lord, oh my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all your sins and heals all of your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Now, has God done what he said he was going to do? Amen. Yeah. Has he done what he said he was going to do? Yes. Yeah. That's because he's gone. That's <laughs> good. He can't lie. That's right. There's no way he can lie. That's right. And so he went to the cross and all power, but he came out for that cross and all out of the ground. All power in heaven, he said, and in earth is in my hand. That's right. And he said, Behold, I give you authority. Yes. And you will tread on serpents yes. and scorpions yes. and all the power of the enemy. Yes. And nothing shall in any means hurt you. Yes. So things will come to her, you, but they can't prosper. <coughs> Do you get that? Yes. And that's why you take the Lord, what we call the Lord's Supper, because you are remembering. He said, yes. don't forget all of his benefits. Yes. And that's one of his benefits. He heals all diseases, yes. and he redeems our life yes. from destruction. Hallelujah. Yes. If I have any cookies, he knows there is. That's true. If I have any cookies in that house, there ain't no and, and she used to she kind of all the sweets for a minute, but this man, he knows if there's any cookies anywhere in the freezer, in the refrigerator, or wherever there's a cookie, that's that if I can his name's on it. <laughs> Why? Because he's my son. And he can eat the cookies. <laughs>
7, John 6, verse 51. I am the living bread that come down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said unto them, I tell you the truth, unless you can eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will have no life in you. Whosoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, just as the living Father sent me. And I live because of the Father. So the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Take and eat. Your forefathers ate manna and died. But he who feeds on this bread will live forever. He said this while teaching in the synagogue. And this is his body that was broken for you. Drink all of it. 